morning. Hello. What's on the program today? Wow. Well, you put the red, the red one. Right so, it's, so it's the first one. Yeah. So. Welcome to the New Look Culture Show on France 24. It's our 15th birthday and the show has had a revamp. So we're having a party in the studio with the France 24 on-screen culture team. Joining me are music critics Marjorie Hash and Florence Villemino. Hello, thanks hey, for being hi. here. Film critic Lisa Nesselson and TV critic Dipti Long. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to the party. Now, Lisa, <laughs> you were one of the first people in this team. Together we do a weekly film show. We must have talked about... Thousands of films thousands. Over, the, over the years. It's one of our five daily shows a week. And I think we're the only news channel that I know of anyway that have a daily culture show. Why do you think it's important? Because I think that sums up France. The, the French attitude is that, yes, we all need food and drink and sleep and possibly sex, but <laughs> movies are really, really a crucial part of, of life on Earth. And uh, I was very recently at the uh, Deauville Festival of uh, American Film in Normandy, and uh, the, the American filmmakers just kept getting on stage in front of 1,500 people, and they couldn't believe their eyes. They'd say, this is more people than have seen my film total in America, and what are you doing here? at 10 in the morning and, and just feeling that culture permeates French life, yeah. It certainly does. And um, Marge and Flo, now you both present the Monday music show. Um, describe it to us a little bit. Oh, it's super exciting. First, we get to work with an amazing team of people <laughs> and I'm not sucking up to anyone. Uh, but also, I didn't expect to meet such a variety in a different sort of musical genres of uh, artists. It was very, you know, widely stretched. And also, you get to chat to the artists before going on the show. And so sometimes you discover a lots of... Um, common passions, which has been an interesting part. And I, they say don't make friends with the, the music stars, but I think I failed in that, <laughs> that side a couple of times. But yes, there's been a f so many highlights over the years. Um, if I had to focus on the last year, uh, we had this uh, Reunion Island artist called Auras who came to present uh, Chimera, which was his uh, album. And it was absolutely beautiful. He had a wonderful fascinator or fascinator on. <laughs> and so, so cool. Flo? What's great is you really I get to meet people that come from all over the world. So it's so hard to, to pick and choose highlights. Uh, for me and the last year, uh, it was this uh, great uh, Canadian singer named Hubert Lenoir. He's, he's pretty wacky. He's a big star in Canada, but I must admit, I, I discovered him when he came on, on the show. Uh, he released a, a, an album called Pictura de Ipse, uh, and he told me at one point how he'd swallowed a microphone to record his insides on this album. I won't tell you how he got it back. That remains a secret. Another thing that I've really loved about this show, we couldn't do it so much during COVID, but uh, artists would also perform on, uh, yeah, on the set. It's really special, isn't it? And they, really they, special. You feel like they're doing it just for you when they it's, are. And they are. <laughs> it's, it's, it can be a little awkward at times because you're all alone in the studio and they're playing for, their heart out for you, but it's really interesting. I really enjoyed Penguin Cafe, for instance. He came in with this, uh, this great uh, uh, instrument you can see here. And he was uh, just playing for me. It felt like my own personal uh, show. And I must admit, Eve, back in the day, you even invited me on the show. <laughs> my band, Hold Your Horses. I did! Which was a lot of fun. And uh, I must admit, that you can see we had weird hair there. Well, that's Louise Dupont, your, your French colleague. But you had me on as well. Uh, yep, definitely glad I didn't keep that hairstyle. And uh, I mostly kept my day job. <laughs> Now, oh, Dipton, wow. you are one of um, our newest critics, but TV is a, such a massive part of um, art and entertainment now, isn't it? Oh, it totally is. And, it, you know, I think all of us can would attest to this, is that, it, you know, you watch so much of TV or you watch films or you listen to so much music, it's re it feels really nice to be able to actually do it as, uh, as your job as well or integrate it as part of your job. And that was kind of for me. I, I mean, I was watching... I love TV shows, you know, and um, I think streaming platforms... Um, changed everything it changed the way we consumed television it kind of killed off network tv it made a lot of shows accessible and from different cultures and different countries and the language barrier is no longer there and i think that's why it's it's so important it's so it's such a huge part of uh, culture today it's also uh, you know a, a way of telling stories in, in a different way you, know, you get really good quality 
sort of documentary series and TV shows, and it's entertaining but informative and um, you know just so enriching really on on the on the platform of different different cultures. We still got to convert Lisa Nesselson to watch, <laughs> to watch TV, but we're we're working on it. Olivia um, Salazar Winspear and I um, present the show. Here's what she has to say about a favorite guest. A real highlight for me was meeting Cuban dancer Carlos Acosta, who'd returned to Havana after a career with the Royal Ballet in London. He'd danced on stages all over the world, often as the first man of colour to do so. And we met him at the Cuban National Ballet, which had definitely seen uh, better days. He was rehearsing for a production of Carmen, his own production with young local dancers. And he was so passionate about the project, so enthusiastic about giving something back to his own country. And there was amazing energy in the room, a real sense of what was at stake for these young dancers who wanted wanted to impress him and wanted to follow in his footsteps as well. We have met so many incredible people over the years. Um, I've been the culture editor at France 24 since 2009. Let's take a trip down memory lane with our behind the scenes super producer, who you rarely get to see, Jenny Ben Brahim. Hi, I'm Jenny, the producer for Encore, and I'm going to take you through 15 years of France 24's culture show. Hello. 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 You're watching France 24's Daily Culture Show. More than 3,500 shows since 2006, with some of the biggest names in the world of arts and entertainment. Hello, Eve Jackson. Hello, France 24. Hello. Hello, I'm Pierce Brosnan. Tom Cruise, it's not often we get tourists like you in Paris who skydive over the Grand Palais. Over the years, we've interviewed some of the biggest stars to talk about their art, music, fashion, and film. One of my personal favorites was of reggae superstar Shaggy in one of our virtual shows at the beginning of the COVID lockdown. Hey, Jenny, happy birthday. I'm sorry, I, uh, you know, the coronavirus really pooped the party. We've traveled the world to bring you a look at the impact of culture on different people and places. Canada to talk about the renaissance of indigenous artists. Palestine to see how culture works as an act of resistance. Tokyo, Tehran, Cuba, Niger and Iceland to name but a few. You remember me when the whistling blows upon the fields of body. All that we have, yep. All that we're made of, is big, big love. Hung out to dry. Some unmissable musical moments. And each week, our experts in music, as well as film and TV, bring you the cultural highlights of the moment. Three, two, one. Our biggest event of the year takes place in the month of May, the Cannes Film Festival. 14 shows over two weeks. I could do this, I could do a little twist. <laughs> For you. You want to twist with me? Thanks to our booking producer, Marion Cheval. I love that I get to book variety of guests from upcoming stars to uh, Eli Ster from all over the world. And it's not always easy, but we survive events like Cannes thanks to flexibility, diplomacy, and of course, humor. Encore takes you to the crossroads where culture meets the news on France 24 every day of the week. Just so many incredible people <laughs> that we've met over the years. Now, Lisa, thousands of shows over the years. A highlight for you? 
Ah, well, I was absolutely thrilled to be able to interview master animator Brad Bird. And uh, more recently, uh, it was just me and Woody Allen. He was on his sofa in New York, and I was here in beautiful Issy Les Moulineaux, just outside Paris. But it felt like we were staring into each other's eyes and discussing his career. What are you most looking forward to in the world of culture over the next few months, Dipti? I guess um, more so now because of the death of the Queen, but the new season of The Crown that was still slated to come out for November, but it, it is really unclear uh, whether that show will come out. And there's another show also coming out um, in the next couple of months, uh, Dear Mama, and it's really interesting. It's, um, it's a docu-series that looks at uh, Tupac Shakur, but also his relationship with his mom, uh, Afeni Shakur, who, of course, was a, a Black Panther activist, and her whole backstory is really fascinating. So that is definitely one that will sort of blend music and television, which is what I think television does best when it crosses those genres. And for you guys, I often think you've got the most difficult job because you've got music from all over the world mm -hmm. to pick from. What are you most looking forward to in the next Ooh, months? So hard because, as you said, all over the world. Maybe the one that springs to mind is the group, the American band from New York, Yeah, Yeah, Yeahs, who are releasing. After nearly a decade, uh, their next album is called Pull It Down. comes out at the end of the yeah, I love uh, Yeah, Yeah, Yes mm -hmm. as well. I'm looking forward to more shows as well because yeah. we couldn't do that during the COVID pandemic. I'm going to see Angel Olsen. She's currently on tour for her latest album, Big Time. It's so emotional. Every time I see her, I cry at the concerts. But it's good It's good tears, good tears. Uh, and also there's a French band that I really like, Mansfield Tia. They're celebrating their 20th anniversary together. They're currently on tour and they're having a last concert at the Olympia in November. They're ending their career together, but they have solo projects too. I'll be at that concert, probably crying as well. <laughs> <laughs> and Lisa, a film to look forward to. Uh, well, someone who worked very closely with the, the late Her Majesty the Queen, I'm really looking forward to Paddington 3. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, no, that nearly made me cry, seeing the Queen <laughs> with Paddington. Thank you so much, guys. It's been a pleasure to have you. So much to talk about and not enough time. 15 years of the Culture Programme on France 24. Thank you for being with us during all this time. Here's to another 15. Um, and thanks for watching. We'll leave you with some of the many hilarious moments <laughs> captured on screen over the years. See you next time. <laughs>